Hey guys, I thought I would share a video Warthog leg uh, for the for Mad Scientist Patreon group, the, the Discord group I'm part of. A great bunch of guys, so it's only shared for them. Bad video production, I'm doing it on an iPhone. Noise, uh, so excuse all that. But important to, to see what we can do with this. So, I went hunting a while back, I, got, I picked this up. Um, and uh, haven't really cooked anything like this. It's very lean, so we'll see what we can do. I thought of doing it burnt in style or ham style, or all kinds of. Then I just decided to see if we can do it pulled pork style, and because uh, then I can basically put it away and, and, and use it for for sandwiches. Um, very, like I said, very lean piece of meat. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to inject it with um, lard using my baby big five injector this is the baby one you get the bigger one i uh, picked this up at the uh, covid vaccination center uh, it looked like it will work great and um, this is still pretty cold so i left it in the fridge so when i inject the lard i hope it will tighten up and, 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 and settle so it doesn't all come out. So see how that goes. So yeah, step one. So I thought I would do this the other way around. Um, I'm going to give you a spoiler how it turned out and then you can decide if you want to watch uh, Wasted the next 10 minutes of your life. So it turned out a little bit dry. Did it uh, turn out like I expected? Probably, uh, I expected this. Did it turn out great? Not great, but actually very nice. The flavor of the meat is very good. With a bit of sauce, it, it really goes down well. Um, it's a very interesting flavor. Something I've never had before like this. Never had Warthog straight up like this. So. Um, some a friend of mine uh, tasted it doesn't like pork usually and, and love the, the, the taste of this so um, I think it was overall a success would I do it again I probably not you wouldn't do any kind of leg this way but um, it's an experiment um, and yeah we just did it for the group and I uh, I like to use all the meat for that we aren't I, I do not like trophy hunting, other people can do it, I don't mind, but uh, yeah. So what I would do with it next time is make sausage. Um, I referenced sausage on on the video uh, that was made with wildebeest I shot. I um, gave my gun to, to a youngster that didn't have one on the hunt and uh, he found the warthog that I was looking for. So thanks to him, it's referenced right in the end of the video. Um, that's what I would do with it. Usually Warthog, when we shoot them, they make sausage or cabanossi, a different kind of sausage, but I'd, I'd definitely do some barbecue sausage with it. Um, yeah, I reference this uh, Warthog that gave up his, uh, gave it up for this video right at the end if you're interested. Um, one thing that was interesting, I didn't get really visual smoke penetration. Although the flavor was there and that is quite strange. Maybe one of you or Jeremy can, can say why that would happen. Also not a very dark uh, bark uh, or anything like that. So um, yeah, so here it goes. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, like you can see, it's pretty nice piece of meat. There's really not much to do here. Very little fat. Um, there's some skin. So uh, a little bit of skin. I'm just going to go and take most of that off yeah you can see how lean the meat is basically there's, there's really nothing fat wise so we're gonna cook it uh, inject it and then when i wrap it i am going to Um, I'm going to add some more lard to this to try to get some fat in there. Um, I'm being a little bit over ambitious today. I am uh, 
I've also decided to make 10 pounds of sausage going on a fishing trip I want to take some sausage so while this is going I am also going to do that so yeah Most of the bone is on this side, so I'm going to make that facing the fire so that they take the heat. Yeah, and so we, let's see how it goes. Um, I looked on the internet, there's no reference to smoking a warthog leg except for big green egg, I think. But that wasn't, that was more crock pot type of exercise. So I'm just going to smoke it like you do a butt and. Uh, See what happened. Well, about four hours in, starting to build some color. Fat is starting to render. This is breaking off the bark a bit, so anyway, it's not. It's only about one, one thirty three internal juice coming out I'm gonna bump it up now to 275 for a little bit and then wrap so I decided to do something weird um, it's going really slowly so um, it's really struggling to get up in temperature it's a big piece of meat and I decided to foil bait it at about 135 internal to, to bump up the temperature. Okay, I opened the service gauge, but it's running pretty hot. Um, I'm going to run it there around 300 uh, for a while and uh, get the temp up to 165 and then wrap. So the moment we've been waiting for, everybody's wondering what happens if you smoke a warthog leg. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, the warthog leg is done. I've got no idea to what to expect. I've got a knife, forks, all kinds of stuff. So let's open up and see. Okay, so... Yeah, definitely not full, but no intermuscular fat, so it's more of a, it is a leg, so um, it's definitely not going to pull, they don't get the color on this that I wanted to, I don't know, it's, uh, I think it's got for some reason it's very um, slippery on the outside, I should have maybe removed that membrane as well, but um, it's uh, it, it slices quite nicely. Made a bit of a sauce. Let's try that. 
Russia test. So that's not bad. Mm. I can taste a little bit of a gaminess, the sauce. Um, really, um, it's a vinegar sauce, so that really uh, offsets that nicely. But overall, really, really nice, actually. It is quite dry being a leg firstly and secondly being game but um actually not too bad so that's a warthog leg mm. Mm. it's actually quite nice i'm gonna chop this up I'm going to make nice sandwiches, some tortillas, it's going to be wonderful. Mm. No brine necessary on this. It's not overly gamey, it's actually very, very nice. And there we go, Pumba on the plate. Cheers.